To do the shirt, you're going to do the same process. So I hope by now you figure this out um, that we just have to start with the big shapes, um, get that base color in and build up. And you really are working with those values that we've been talking about all year. So um, as you're doing this, we're going to be working in the blue family. And then at the end, you can make any adjustments and all of that. Um, but those transparencies, um, as well as just staying in the same row on the color details, is really what's going to make it pop and look like Mr. Awesome Bob Ross. So, and if you're not perfect on the outline, that is absolutely okay. That's one of the beauties of this project is um, you're totally flexible with that. So I'm getting his outline of his shirt and I'm going to pick a nice baby blue to do it. And so when, the reason I'm picking that blue, kind of like that, is because the... The majority of his shirt is this medium wash. You have highlights, you have low lights or shadows on it. And so I want that medium wash. And so again, I just hold the shift key and move it down. And it's just observational of what I see and what I'm going to get. So right now we have a blue blob, but once I get that detail in, I'm going to have a great shirt. So. I want to get this highlight. I want to get this um, shadow here from his massively art afro to um, help render that collar. And so uh, you don't have to be necessarily exact, but you know, and that just happens all the time. If you are, especially when you're doing detail work, is it does close the shape because you click you want to turn just a little bit but it clicks it's better to go back and edit it than to have to sit there and redo it I really would hate to tell you how many times I had to do that afro to get it right um, because I would always click too much that's the joys of a pause button so I want to go down a little bit darker and I want to hit these dark spots too That one has a really dark spot in there, so I might come back as a detail and add that smaller dark spot to it. But right now, what I want to do er, is um, just get the basic shape, because that, it's that layering technique that's going to make it look successful. Click, 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 click. That's what I've been hearing. So these little details uh, are what make it pop, but it, it is a stylistic, it's posterized. If you've ever seen that filter, it breaks it down into the values, those five grayscale values that are important. And so as you can see, I'm just kind of clicking along. I'm not even worrying that I'm having a black outline right now. I will fix that when I remember to group. And sometimes that helps me remember to group because you know how we get. And do you have to group? No, it just makes it easier on the face when you go to adjust it. If you have it as a group, uh, you can select it and move it together or adjust the color together. It really is for your ease of editing it is not a mandatory in terms of the design if you're perfect and make no mistakes and never have to adjust anything you don't have to group but i know i'm not that way um, if you think you are then yay for you and so as you can see i'm just trying to pick up these dark shapes And like in here, it gets that fold going on of the shirt. And if you look at this, I'm not going to worry that his shirt has kind of a white on white stripe. That's not going to affect this any. I'm just looking for these big shapes. In fact, I might have wanted to do that one all together. But I didn't, so oh well. And what I mean by that is I could, if I could have made it one big shape or chose to make it one big shape, then I could just pop that white outline on it and boom, 
I have awesomeness. So like we'll do it with this one. I'm not worrying that it has that shape in the middle. I'm doing the outline of it. And there I have it. So I have a lot of little things to select. Doom, doom, doom. Select, 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 select. All right, I'm going to make my line transparent. I am going to group. I am going, uh, I am group. Uh, move that over and look how look how just adding that pops this shirt into dimension okay so now i'm going to do the same thing with the white and then we are going to deal with the background in a different video so the more you get used to this the less videos you need so now it's just me rambling all right, so through the magic of pausing, I've added some of my highlights and I'm gonna do this. So we made that big shape and now that just lets me put that little white highlight in on top of it. And maybe I want one here. And if you notice, I'm not quite accurate on the shape and erg, um, and that is okay. So I do wanna try and get that kind of shape though all right i'm gonna stop playing so let's go through and select them all and notice you are looking for the blue line it gets a little harder to see when it is on blue and it just shift it so i'm going to undo that means when i clicked it i moved my mouse also so i'm going to group and I'm going to see how that looks on it. So let's move it over. And I know this area right here needs to be on top of that. So I've gone too far and keep my shift key down. And it's about right there, but I think it's way too much. So let's take the transparency down and see if that does what I want. So, so look, can you tell I forgot to take the outline off? Hey, that lets you know where everything's at, but it also lets me know that that color is not good. I want to come up here to my grays um, up in here. So that's light gray, and I want to pull that one to be a transparent. I want some of that blue to show through. I think that's going to be the money maker for us. And you start getting that effect. So what I'm going to do at this point is stop and I will show you how to do the background um, in just a minute. 